I'm flying solo for Cannon Maple tonight because my helper's off at Taekwondo and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So let's make some cornbread maple style. Melt one quarter cup of butter. Yes, I'm doing mine on the stove top. I don't own a microwave. Don't need one. Don't plan on getting one. Everything I need to do it can happen on the stove top or in the oven. So let's keep going. One egg in the bowl. Add in your quarter cup of melted butter. One cup of milk. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Quarter cup of pure maple syrup. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Three fourths cup of cornmeal and one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Give it all a mix until it looks like that. Butter your pan, spread it out evenly in your pan and stick it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until a fork is stuck in the middle of it and it comes out clean. While that does its thing in the oven, let's answer some questions that I get asked frequently about mapling items in the kitchen. First question, does it have an overwhelming taste of maple? No, it doesn't. It's just another sweetener. You don't even really notice a difference. Can I use honey instead of maple syrup? I would assume the answer is yes, but I honestly have no actual experience with that whatsoever. We've always used maple syrup instead of refined sugar and no other substitutes. Can this be made using gluten-free types of flour? Well, honestly, again, I don't have personal experience with this, but I have made it with all-purpose flour. I have made things with stone ground wheat flour and they've all come out just fine. So I would say give it a try. Can diabetics have this? Is this a better option for them? Well, maple syrup actually is easier on your digestive system than most any other natural sweetener out there and has a lower glycemic index than honey or other natural sweeteners on the market that are actual natural sweeteners. I'm not talking about Splenda or all those other artificial sweeteners out there. I'm talking about the pure natural ones by comparison to honey and things like that. Maple syrup has a lower glycemic index, so actually is better for diabetics. And I'm talking about the real stuff here, not the pancake syrup that has high fructose corn syrup in it and then added in maple flavoring. This stuff is quite literally just boiled down maple tree sap. Nothing added to it, just the sap kind of boiled down so it becomes thick and sticky like syrup. Which brings me to the last question that I get on every single can at maple video. What brand of maple syrup? Where can I get this? Just check your local grocery store. The brand does not matter as long as it is pure maple syrup and not pancake syrup that has maple flavoring added in, you've got the right stuff. I've lived in North Carolina, I've lived in Kentucky, I've lived in Alaska, and I've lived now in Texas and used maple syrup all around with no problem whatsoever. In only one of those locations, in Kentucky, did we actually attempt the process of making our own maple syrup. Because contrary to popular belief, the whole maple syrup thing did not start because we lived in Alaska and we had maple trees that we could make our own maple syrup. You actually don't have sugar maples in Alaska. So even there, I went to the grocery store, typically on the baking aisle or wherever your grocery store has like its honey and its other pancake syrup, you're going to find pure maple syrup as well. Or there's always a good old Schmamazon if you can't find it at your local grocery store to order something for yourself to use. I think that about covers most of our frequently asked questions. Let's go check on our cornbread. And now we have mapled old fashioned homemade cornbread. Perfect to go with our ham and beans for dinner tonight, just in time for the kids to come home. 